So the case of New Mutants is an interesting one. If you don't know, the film was originally set to release in April of 2018, but was delayed for, for reshoots, which we now know was to make the film scarier. Um, it was delayed until, well, I think it was 22nd of February 2019. Then I got pushed back again to 2nd of August this year. And um, it's, uh, I don't, I'm not sure what the date is. I think it's the 15th, 16th of August I'm recording this. And we still haven't gotten the movie. We haven't even gotten a single, uh, another second trailer. So, this movie's all over the place, and uh, I'm, I'm doing, I know I don't usually do these kind of things on my channel, but I really wanted to get this out of my system, I really just wanted to talk about the situation for a moment. Basically, in a, in a new article from Variety, they have stated that um, Disney is apparently unimpressed with New Mutants. They say that it has low box office potential. Now, this can mean one of many things. It could mean that, yeah, the film sucks, um, uh, does, and it's not going to do so well. But it could also mean that um, something else, that uh, Disney just isn't really comfortable putting this kind of movie out. Because um, they're worried that it won't be the kind of movie that's going to make, you know, a lot of money. But let's, let's just be real here for a second, because it's, uh, it's Disney, alright? They're gonna... They're clearly worried about losing money here. And I don't know why, because, well, they're Disney. Uh, every movie they've put out this year has made at least one billion. Endgame's made two billion, so there you go. And um, what else we got coming out this year? Uh, oh yeah, Star Wars: Rise of Skywalker. That is definitely gonna make one billion. Not even gonna question it. it, it I wouldn't bat an eye if it made one billion in, in a week or less. What my point is here, what I'm trying to say is that they're Disney, that, and even if New Mutants comes out and uh, it, 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 it does fail at the box office, let's say it does, um, it's not a huge loss for the company because they already have a lot of money. Um, it, it's more likely they're going to gain, well, when they say more likely, it's, you know, well, it's... It, 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 it's basically logic, actually. You, you, they will get more money from releasing it in theatres than releasing it on something like Hulu or, or Disney+. Plus. One thing we all know for sure is that uh, Disney are really, really annoyed and angry at Dark Phoenix for being a massive failure. Because, let's just face it, Dark, Dark Phoenix sucked. It, it, it just did. Disney didn't want the movie, and I'm not sure we did either. I just want to go back to the article in Variety. All they said about the film is that Disney said that they're unimpressed with it, and they think it has a low box office potential. If you re that's all they said, literally those words. And the article in Variety was about a much bigger deal about the Disney Fox merger, something like that, I wasn't really paying attention. But it wasn't centered on New Mutants as a subject. It brought it up and, uh, and they didn't say anything else about it for the rest of the article. So it's possible that maybe uh, everyone's just making uh, a bit of a too big a deal about this particular this particular article statement than there needs to be. I mean, just really think about it. The movie only got delayed for reshoots to make it scarier, 
and uh, the reshoots kept getting delayed because they're struggling to bring the cast together. Again, doesn't necessarily mean the film's bad. It might not be great. It, it could be good. It could not be good. We don't know. But I've seen reviews online and uh, fake reviews on uh, the reviewing website Letterbox Letterboxd. Sorry. <clears throat> um, the, but really just making some shit about the film that you know isn't true. And uh, there's no way they could have watched the film. Because it hasn't even leaked. There's nothing about the film's leaked. If something had leaked, I would have known by now. If you want my honest opinion, I, I'm still holding on. I'm, I have hope for the movie, but the more bad news that comes out about the movie, I, I, I don't know why, it will, whenever I hear the slightest bit of bad, bad news about the movie, I doubt a little bit more, and uh, yeah, I just start feeling very gloomy. Um, I saw the Twitter post on the New Mutant Update account, um, and it was, uh, I, I think it was, I think they had retweeted it from Henry Zaga, or the, I, I mean, to be fair, I'm not really sure how Twitter works, but Henry Zaga was mentioned in there, and uh, Henry Zaga is one of the uh, actors in the film who reportedly plays Sunspot, and and uh, and and the um, the post says that reshoots for the movie are set to begin in November. And now this is a good sign. This means uh, this could mean that things are that production's picking up. The things are finally getting back on track. So yeah, when I saw this post, you can imagine I was quite happy, and uh, I hope it's true. I hope it stays that way, and. Uh, Hope, uh, and I hope the reshoots do happen and the film is released and no more trouble. Honestly, like I say, we're just going to have to wait and see. And that's it for now. Uh, I know I don't usually do these kind of things, guys, but uh, I just thought I'd just get this out of my system. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, check out my other videos, and go follow my Instagram page at Harry Docker. That's all for now. Take care.